Whoa! Whoa, everyone be advised. Slow down, slow down. I think we found it. There's a huge car pile up. I'm going to need backup over here on Highway 55. We're going to need the medics. We're going to need some extra medics. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video. We're back here inside of ERLC. I got a banger video for you guys, but before this video starts, hit that subscribe button and use star code ruffles when you're purchasing. Robux are premium to help support me and the channel. But without further ado, everybody, let's go ahead and get started with today's video. So we are actually here on the fire department team. Now, actually, River City has just released a special weather statement that uh, they want to keep everybody off the roads because it is so foggy inside of ERLC and I'm talking like you can't see anything inside of the game you can't even see in front of you when you're driving so uh, they told all the residents inside of River City to stay home just for safety reasons but however we still gotta work which is uh, kind of sucky but um but uh, excuse me medic excuse me medic um I just want to let you know that you're really weird like like I'm talking like I could smell you from outside you smell that bad okay you smell that bad. You literally smell like cheese that a rat ate and crapped out 20 different times. Okay? Like, it, that. Like, go get a shower, dude. Alright. Anyways, everybody. But, uh, let's go ahead and get started with today's video. So, actually, uh, for dinner tonight, we're having some potato french fries and some macaroni and cheese. And this guy's getting a quick little lift in before. Um. Uh, this is a treadmill. I'm not sure why he's laying down on it, but, uh. We're going to let him be. We're going to let him be, everybody. So it looks like we do have a new call. There's a car piled up. Come fast or grandma might die on Big Boy Street. What is Big Boy Street? I'm just going to assume that that's uh, like a Big Boy Street, like Highway 55 there. All right, so we're going to go ahead and respond to that real quick. Whoa, my chat's glitched. Uh-oh. My thing is glitched. But actually, we're going to respond code 3. It seems like there's some type of car pile up from what he told me. I'm not too sure what's going to be happening here, but uh, we're going to check this out real quick. And we're heading over to the Highway 55. It seems like there's a car pileup, but everybody, we have to drive careful because as you can see, we cannot see that far ahead of us um, because the fog is so bad. Because the fog is so bad inside of the game. So we're making sure to drive carefully. Like when, I, when I'm talking about, like when I come over here, you can't even see in front of us. So, uh, be advised that we're going to be driving a little slower than normally today, everybody. But we're taking a tanker with us, and then we have a couple of medics that we're, uh, that we're going to be taking with as well. And everybody, we're in some serious need of new people to join the recording crew, so definitely join the recording crew in the description below if you haven't already to be in my videos for completely free, everyone. So we're on the freeway here, and I do believe, whoa, hazardous road conditions slow down, okay. So there you go, so we're going to be slowing down here a little bit. I'm not sure where this car pileup is exactly, but like I said, the car pileup could be anywhere. Whoa! Whoa, everyone be advised. Slow down, slow down. I think we found it. There's a huge car pileup. I'm going to need backup over here on Highway 55. We're going to need the medics. We're going to need some extra medics and police units. Be advised, everybody. Be very careful. Looks like we have a huge car pileup over here. Is that someone on a lamppost? That guy's on a lamppost. How did that guy even get up there? How did that guy even get up there? That's not even possible. Okay, be careful, everybody. We're going to park our tanker over here. And it seems like they're, like, extending all the way into the other lane. So we're going to have police go ahead and cut these roads off completely. I'm going to go ahead and deploy a 150-foot or 200-foot attack line here, everyone. Because we're going to go ahead and try and get these fires put out. No way. This is unbelievable. So it seems like the fog has actually caused a huge car pileup because nobody can see in front of him. I don't even know how we're going to get that dude down. I don't even know how that dude got up there, but he, hopefully hopefully he's alive. I'm not even sure how that dude got up there. But uh, let's go to go, and we're going to continue to put these fires out. Uh, if one of the police officers actually want to head on the other side of the road in the opposite direction, because uh, that's where the traffic's going to be coming from, and I really don't want to get run over today. So uh, we're going to continue to just go ahead and fight these fires with this uh, two and a, two and a half inch uh, attack line here. There you go. I think the, I think the, the police officer's headed on the other side. There we go. I think that's mostly all the fire. However, there's a woman over here. I'm not sure, but we're going to continue to put this fire out here. Check this out, everybody. Wow. That's unbelievable. So we have the medics over here. You know what? I'm actually going to go and request DOT over here. Let's get some DOT over here and see if we can get these, uh, get these vehicles out of the roadway so we can at least open up the opposite lane here. 
but these guys are in some serious conditions. Wow. Wow, so we're going to get a backboard, and we're going to go help these guys real quick. Where's that backboard at, baby? And also, we're going to get our hydraulic struts. You know, I've never used these. Like, we have never used these in the fire service. Um, I'm not sure what these are, but um, I assume they're just for, like, vehicle stabilization here. But I, I have yet to, yet to learn about these. So I'm not sure what they are, but... All right, there we go. We're going to try and use these. Wait, how do you... Okay, you just got to keep twisting it. Got to keep twisting it. Okay, let's see here. These are so weird. Invalid second point. Okay. Like this. I have no idea how to use these. I have no idea. Let me know in the comments below, everybody. If you guys have ever used the hydraulic struts. And if you have, how do you use them? Okay, so we're going to try and get this guy out of the ladder, or out of this lamp post. We're going to extend that ladder there. No way. What is this dude doing? All right, so let's go ahead and drop this here. Okay, I'm going to grab a backboard. Oh, there's the OT. Very cool, very cool. So they're going to get some of these vehicles out of here. All right, I'm going to go ahead and see. I'm going to get my, uh, what am I getting my backboard? I'm not even sure how this guy got up here, but sir, are you okay? This guy said my back. Yeah, dude, your back is, like, bent over. You're, like, you're literally hanging by a thread, bro. Look at this guy. All right, so we're going to climb up here with the backboard real quick. All right, man, we're going to see if we can get you out of this out of this situation. I'm not sure how you got up here, but uh, there you go. We're going to go and yank him off the, yank him off the lamppost, and we're going to carry him down the ladder here. There we go. Dude, no way. Ma'am, how'd you even get up there? How did this guy even get up there? I went through the front window because I didn't wear a seatbelt. Wow. You have heard it here first, folks. Wear your seatbelt inside of cars or else you're going to end up like this fella right here. All right, you're going to end up like this fella right here. So we're going to put this guy in the ambulance. There we go. He's going to go ahead and get some medical treatment. Uh, you know what? He's not going in the ambulance. He's just going to he's just gonna lay there until the medics get to him. I'm, I'm not a medic, everybody. I'm an EMT, so uh, good, luck guy. good luck with that guy. I can give you oxygen. That's about it. But... We gotta get these guys out of here as well. So this guy's pinned under his vehicle. We're gonna yank this lady out just like he's like he's on a 4th of July party. Alright, there you go. We got this guy. We need a strut to get him out. Well, sir, I'm sorry. I don't know how to operate those. So we're on, you're on your own, man. You are on your own. You're on your own. So we're gonna put this guy inside of the back of the ambulance too. We're just like throwing bodies in the back of the ambulance here. We don't, we don't even know who this is. But uh, there you go. Just go ahead and lay there for a second. Yeah, there you go. There you go. They're gonna... <laughs> They're just piling the bodies over here. They're just piling the bodies. The medics got to get these guys out of here. This guy ain't even speaking English. I don't even know who this guy is, but he ain't even speaking English. If any of you guys know Spanish, uh, let me know. Because uh, I do not speak... Well, that's false. I did take two years of Spanish class, but I did not learn anything. I, I will let you... I, I won't lie to you guys. I was not very good at it. I was not very good. So, there you go. I can say like... Oh, no way, dude. I don't remember anything. Yeah, I don't remember anything from Spanish class. So they're getting these bodies over here. They're getting these guys out of here. We're going to pick this woman up. And boom. There we go. We got him. We're going to put him on the uh, on the backboard here. Player is currently downed. Oh, you got to revive him. Oh, that's for the medics to do. Not me, baby. But I think we got most of the victims out of here. We completely closed off all the roads. And this is a huge scene. I'm going to go ahead and bring my, uh, bring my hose line back to the... Uh, back to the place here, back to the engine. Alright, so there we go. Detach hose line there. And boom, we have a little bit of water left. How much water we got left in our pump? We got 90% 90, 90 left. We're pretty good. We're about 2,800 gallons. So there you go. So they gotta get these guys in the ambulance. Like, these medics gotta get these guys out of here. I don't know what they're doing, but these medics are not very good. If any of you guys wanna head down to the recording crew and apply to be a medic, let me know, because the ones right now were not very good. And this guy smells like rancid cheese. I don't know who this guy is, but he smells terrible. But there you go. So, <laughs> there you go. So, they're getting these guys out of here. They're getting the DOT. We're gonna, Yeah, there they are. They're on their way back. They're going to get these vehicles out of here. But I'm going to go and uh, take down my ladder and put it back inside of the engine real quick. There we go. We got some more DOT getting these people out of here. Where's my ladder? There you go. But anyways, everyone, looks like that's going to do for today's roleplay. If you guys want to see some more stuff, let me know in the comments below. I definitely plan to do a couple videos. With the new uh, graffiti this week and the new spike strip. So definitely go ahead and stick around on the channel to check that out, everyone. But if you did enjoy, drop a like on the video and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching this video. My name is Ruffles Official, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.